Hey all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going on a shopping trip. Although chances of me actually buying something on said shopping trip are slim to none, but I really want to go over to TJ Maxx and Marshalls and see what kind of makeup they have there today. Now I know this might be a little bit weird because not every TJ Maxx and Marshalls has the same exact products, but I have found personally that when somebody says, hey, I found this palette in TJ Maxx, if I go to like two TJ Maxx's in my area, the chances of me finding it are actually pretty high. So I don't know if it's the same for you all, and I know that overseas they have different versions of TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but really I just thought this would be fun to see what kind of makeup has made its way over there, because chances are it's usually not the same exact makeup that you find in Sephora and Ulta, and if it is, that could mean it's expired. Now you could look up batch codes and things like that. I'm not gonna be doing that today. I really just wanna see what's out there. And I don't know, I mean, if I feel so inclined to pick something up, something that I've really wanted, I might pick it up. I'll be honest, there is a Becca foundation that I love and already miss. I am almost through my whole tube. And if they have it there at a discount, it's the light shifting doing tint foundation. I might pick it up, but my TJ Maxx and Marshalls are in the same exact shopping plaza, so this should be real easy. I'm gonna to try to film as much as I can. I'm gonna be filming that part on my phone, but let's go see what we can find. So the first stop is Marshalls. Now the Marshalls by me usually has a pretty good selection, like their area is really clean and really well kept. The TJ Maxx, not so much, but we're gonna see. I'm gonna to try to talk through this as much as I can, but it's also weird to talk to yourself in a store. So we're gonna see. Also, I'm going to be masked because I still do wear my masks when I go indoors places because the positivity rate is rising again. But um, yeah, if you hear any muffled, that's why. I'm already distracted. Do I, do I need this hanging chair? This is, this is amazing. Wow, we are starting off strong with the brushes like Japanese used to be a pretty expensive brand, $5.99, wow. There's even a Sigma F57, holy crap, and Moda? is always kind of gross like people who tear stuff open or test the product so oops. we do have some of these which are really good So I have not had any luck finding the specific Becca foundation I was curious about. We've got a lot of the ultimate coverage foundation, a lot of shades, which is kind of cool. Um, we've got the Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop, which is so tempting, but the fact that it has Jaclyn Hill on it is kind of worrisome because didn't she have a lawsuit with them or something where her name was taken off of anything Champagne Pop? So this has got, yeah, like that's old Jaclyn Hill. This has got to be really, really old. This is a great inexpensive dry shampoo if you are looking for something that is cruelty free. And these are $10, but literally this bottle lasts forever. They have every single shade. They have some for dark hair. It's great. Okay, so Marshall's was a dud this time, which is kind of unfortunate because I feel like usually that's where I can find some like 
really high-end stuff. Somebody's gonna hit me with their car. Cool. Pretty. Oh, thank you. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Did you guys hear that? She just said my hair was pretty. But really, Marshalls is usually the place that I'm able to find the... Shut up, car. <laughs> it's the place that I can find, like, those high-end goods, usually. Like, I have found some crazy good deals there. So I'm curious to see what's in TJ Maxx, see what we can find there. Maybe they cleaned up their acts a little bit. Doubtful, but we shall see. Okay, so TJ Maxx did clean things up a little bit. And they've got some nicer lip products. Like we've got some Anastasia, we've got Bare Minerals, Burt's Bees. The skincare section still looks a little hectic, but you can find some things in here. So again, we've got no problem primer and we've got some cool up tan luminizer down here. Some Ula Henriksen Invigorating Night Transformation Gel, only 13 bucks, wow. Here we go, this is the main makeup section. It's a lot of the same stuff, a lot of Morphe, some blush trios, some more BH. BH seems to be the big one. Ooh. There's some Fenty here. Got a bunch of it. Oh my God. I wanted this so badly. $12.99, oh my God. I don't need this, but like these are so good. These glittering glow. Oh my God. But I'm gonna have to leave you. Nope. So we've got some Tarte Amazonian clay, but there's only one. We have some more backup, but again, none of the thing that I'm looking for. Well, that's a bummer. Um, I don't know. It's so funny because I sat there and I was like, I'm probably not going to buy anything. But truthfully, you're always hoping you're going to find that thing, right? That cool thing that maybe once was like a million dollars now you can find it for five dollars did not find that today so i think what i'm going to do is in a few days i don't know maybe i'll do it later on today if i'm in the mood but there is another tj maxx and marshall's not terribly far from here oh. <laughs> no i didn't just drop my phone but there's one not terribly far from here so i'm gonna go there and see what they have to offer because maybe it's something great maybe it's something like amazing and i don't even know necessarily what i'm looking for but that's part of the thrill of the hunt right so we'll see in the next shots i may be in the same outfit of makeup i may be in a different outfit of makeup life is crazy like that okay so we're just doing this today i am going to go to one more tj maxx vote down below in the comments do you think we will find expired makeup do you think we will find the BH Cosmetics and Iggy Azalea collection again, the Totally Plastic? Will we find 85,000 Morphe palettes? Or will we find a gem? Stay tuned. Let's go see. Oh look, the Iggy Azalea palette. Oh my nails match. Oh my gosh, Luxie? So we've got these Luxie brushes that are held with scotch tape and like open. No. Mario Badescu, which is already quite inexpensive as it is, $10, you know, so just keep that in mind that brand new Mario Badescu is not that expensive. 
again with the no problem primer. Well, store number three is done. Let's talk about what we saw today. Well, that was an interesting experiment. So I went to two different TJ Maxx's, Maxx's? Is that the plural of TJ Maxx? Two Maxx's? Maxi. TJ Maxi. And I also went to one Marshall store. And as you could see, most of the stuff in there was exactly the same. So we saw a whole lot of like the BH Cosmetics and Iggy Azalea totally plastic palette. There was a lot of Morphe. We had a lot of Anastasia lip products and also blush products, but like everything was the same. And it's interesting because I have found some real gems in those stores before. And I know I've said this in the past, but I feel like you also have to be so careful when you're looking at stuff there. Like for example, I was immediately attracted at first to the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid because I really, really loved those. They're a great liquid highlighter. They're fantastic to mix in with your foundations and give a nice glow. And then when I saw Jaclyn Hill at the top of it, I was like, wasn't that like way discontinued? All right, so I just decided to look this up and everything came out, it is looking like approximately 2016. Some of it was even before that. We have 2000, yeah, dude, 2017. Five years ago is when Jaclyn Hill and Becca Cosmetics sort of cut ties. So that product is that old. And I have a feeling that when Becca Cosmetics kind of went the wayside, that they just took all their products and shoved it into the hands of TJ Maxx and Marshalls to try to recoup some of what they lost. Now, there are some Becca products that have been kind of rebranded with Smashbox, and those are rebranded, so those are newer products, but at the same time, they are just taking all of this stuff they know is very expired and still selling it. So I don't know. Now, okay, here's one thing to think about. Those tubes of the Jaclyn Hill Becca product, they are probably still sealed. So it's not like a ton of air has gotten to them, but that's a very old cream product. And it depends on if you want to use that. I'll admit that I have some lipsticks that are quite old, that really are, and I should probably throw them away. But those are ones that I know that I purchased when they were brand new. So who knows when these were even made? If they were released in 2016, who knows if they weren't made like before that? And you know, it just, hmm, it baffles me. It baffles me to see those really discontinued, really expired products there. But again, that Iggy Azalea palette was fairly new. That's only a few months ago, maybe six months ago, right? So basically what I'm saying here is shop at these stores at your own risk. Do you want to know what my goal was today? I had a little bit of a shopping itch and I am still on my low buy, but I had a little bit of a shopping itch and I was hoping that I could buy something kind of inexpensive to scratch that itch. But I'm pretty proud to say that I was able to look at everything and go, there's not a single thing here that I need. The only thing that made me curious were those Stila glitter and glow shadows. But when I thought about it, those even came out like three years ago, I think. And I've had several of those in the past and I really, really love them until they dry out, which they all have done. They have all dried out, they've all gotten crusty, the emollient base to them gets nasty. So again, those are still sealed, but at the same time, who knows if they've gone bad or not. So that's it. I had a fun time actually looking around at these stores. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you purchase cosmetics and skincare from places like TJ Maxx or Marshalls? What kind of good things have you gotten there that you've really liked? I know for sure I have gotten the Becca Backlight Priming Filter there before. Um, when I used to use MAC Cosmetics, I got a lot of MAC stuff there before, and they still did have a good amount of MAC, but I no longer use them because they're not cruelty-free. Um, just, I really have had good luck there in the past, but it definitely is picky. You have to figure out like whether or not that's the thing that you really want. Like sometimes you're gonna find a gold mine, other times you're gonna go to three different stores and find nothing. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I would love if you'd give it a thumbs up if you did. That always helps out my channel. You all can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and TikTok. Those are all glitter fallout, and as always and forever, you are super freaking rock stars. I love you so much with my whole heart, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.